What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to publish your game into HIO. It's going to be a very easy view to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you have to do is package your game, okay? So make a build, so people can open it as a .exe, like all PC games in history. So for that, what we have to do is go up here into this platforms section, and now you can see that we have a whole bunch of different render targets in this case we are interested on windows or you know whatever in this case hio i guess uh, it will be for windows maybe ios for mac but in this uh, tutorial i'm gonna uh, center and focus specifically for windows so we have a whole bunch of settings here but first of all before touching anything of this we're gonna go into the packaging settings of the project overall so let's click here and now you can see that if we go down the only thing that you have to make sure is that the build conf configuration is how you want. In this case, we have different options as debug game, development, test, shipping, etc. So normally, if you're gonna upload a game to each IO, uh, it's probably gonna you know be shipping as you don't want the players to, to see your prints, your uh, special debug commands, and so on. Uh, now, if you want players to specifically test, uh, like you can then put it in development, but be aware that they will see the prints that you have. Uh, some I will be able to access some uh, specific commands in your console and so on. So you want to hide everything, just be more professional, just like final ship game. I would recommend to be shipping, even though you have not finished the final version of your game. Okay, with that said, another thing that you have to make sure is to search for maps and make sure to put the game default map to the one that you want to open. My case will be, for example, main menu. With that, very, very important. This is a, cr a very uh, common mistake. And as you can see, if we go a bit down, we can see that we have the project packaging settings for our maps. In here, in this list of maps to include in a package build, we have to add the, your new map and, and basically, you know, choose the map file uh, in your computer. And this is done manually because, you know, imagine that um, you have a lot of test levels or levels in progress and they're very big, it's just to, you know, not build and export unnecessary levels that you don't need. So in this case, it is very important. You have to include what maps you want to export. In my case, I have the main menu and the game level. Uh, so that's pretty much what you have to do. Now we have more things as, for example, the support platforms. You can just untick the ones that you don't need. And then we can go down until we see platforms. You can select your platform and then just change some things as the, you know, the X version, the compiler version and so on. And then things as the game splash and game icon, which I recommend to change as it will just make your game a bit more professional. You can see the dimensions you need and etc. Anyway, with those settings uh, done and set up, you can just go back into the platform section. Just go to your preferred um, platform, which in this case, I guess it will be Windows or Mac, but mostly windows and then select your uh, configuration in this case you can use the price setting which is shipping or directly just specify one shipping over here and then what you want to do is click on package project which is making the actual build uh, so it can execute your game so in this case just click on this and then you have to choose a location so go ahead choose a folder select the folder and that will be it okay so you will end up with this windows folder okay which will contain all the things that your game requires and the .exe, which is the most important thing. Now, you cannot just simply give them the .exe. The .exe needs all of these folders and, you know, information in order to run. Uh, a lot of people might just think that by just putting up the, X, the .exe will work. No, you have to upload the whole Windows folder. So, for uh, making things a bit more, you know, accessible, what you have to do is zip it as I have done here. So you select your Windows folder, right click and just, uh, you know, zip it into a nice folder, change the name to your game name. And that is what you are going to be uploading to HIOs, but much more convenient to upload a zip uh, file, as you might uh, imagine. So we just make the size way smaller and just more compressed so you can just um, upload it easier to each IO and as I truly recommend it by each IO themselves. So once you have your build and your you know package sprite, what you have to do is go of course to the HIO page, create an account or sign in, whatever you need. And now we're gonna go up here into this arrow and you will see that we have a button to upload a new product. So we would click on this button. As you can see, you would fill everything that you need. Your game title, the URL, the 
tags they will use, your classification, if it's a game or whatever it is, uh, the kind of project, now this is very important, uh, well, it's, it, it's not very important, but just informing HIO, you know, uh, what type of um, project it is. In this case, if it's the mobile, if it's HTML, uh, whatever, um, and in this case, we downloadable because you're downloading the zip file with everything, right? And then, you know, the release status, the pricing, uh, and then, when it comes to the actual important thing, which is uploading the file. So you can see the file size limit is one gigabyte. That's why we zip the folder. But if not, uh, you can use the bother thing to upload your game if it's bigger than one gig. But that's a whole different thing, which I'm not going to cover in this tutorial. So I'll just click upload files and you select that zip. And that should be it. Just fill in your stuff and details, genre tags, blah, 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 blah. And then you can just go ahead and set this to public and save and view page. Now, of course, make sure to upload also the cover image and the gameplay trailer and screenshots and whatever you need. With that, you can just, you know, create a draft, see if everything is okay, and then just mark it as public and save it, and your game will be uploaded to HIO. So that's it for this show. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 throws, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now, yes, with all I said, bye bye. So, once you have your build and your package, what you have to do is go first to the HAO page, create an